Thank you for visiting the Coin Saris channel again. My study and the things I discovered here today are really astounding, and I can't wait to tell you all about it. I am fully aware that the SEC and Ripple are meeting for a settlement conference today in New York Federal Court, and that Stuart Outroti and Brad Garland are both in attendance. The significance of this cannot be overstated, my friends. I highly doubt that a deal will be reached today. Is it going to be soon I'm hoping so. But at this precise moment, this is the topic of conversation among all the animals in the area. Additionally, I am aware that there is a wealth of information available to you. Therefore, I would prefer not to get too involved in the SEC case. I have some intriguing findings that I uncovered on XRP today that I think you guys will find fascinating, so I wanted to share them with you. The only thing I ever ask is that you hit that like button and share the video widely if you enjoy discussing XRP and other great digital assets. Otherwise, feel free to leave a comment with X. I would like to begin by informing others about the truth of this digital revolution right here, Edo Farina. In the past, I have shared some of his content. He states that XRP begins to move as expected. Along with the BTC dumps, earlier today I recorded a video in which we discussed a whale alert due to the significant moves occurring today, we did observe a brief spike in XRP prices, but they quickly recovered. We still have the SEC suppressing us, so XLM was performing good before it came back a little bit, and prices are waiting for this to end so we can see those explosions. But what's really happening behind the scenes, along with some metrics and data that I'm about to show you, is pretty fascinating. Institutional investors can now use Uphold to make Ripple payments. This partnership has been going on for a while, but Uphold's number one service, Audl, is now available to Ripple. As a result, Uphold, a prominent and massive digital currency platform, has introduced Ripple as a payment option for institutional investors. This decision marks a major improvement for the XRP community and Ripple's on-demand liquidity providers. Just wanted to mention that I had a subscriber on my other channel which I'll link in the pinned comment part below who said, Hey, man, you are very very bullish on ICP, which is another cryptocurrency. So, before I get into some really bullish stats for XRP especially, the future is in my luggage, and I'm very certain that it is a part of it. Why aren't you guys as enthusiastic about discussing Ripple XRP I have no idea what kind of stuff he's seeing, but I do release XRP content every single day. Additionally, I have complete faith that this digital asset will lead to the tremendous wealth of many people. This would pave the way for many people to achieve financial independence and pass their riches down through the generations. This isn't financial advice, in my opinion, so there. On top of that, I am not a broker. Looking at the figures, though, it becomes clear that this makes perfect sense, SBI is a purpose net bank, and there's a joint venture going on between SBI Holdings and some Meet Tomo Meets You. One of the most prominent online banks in Japan is Trust Bank, a major Japanese financial institution. Here you can see a sum of over 9 trillion yen in mortgage loans and deposits totaling over 8 trillion yen. This is but one example of the kind of collaboration and industry that Ripple is targeting with its technology. When it comes to tokenizing assets in the real world, we cover all the possible areas. We examine report indicators that demonstrate the stakes and their market capabilities, and naturally, we talk about cross-border payments. Transfers between countries are possible. In the midst of all the talk about artificial intelligence AI, deep learning DL, and other cryptocurrency market narratives, I think it's easy to lose sight of the fact that crypto facilitates cross-border payments. From the very beginning, all currencies have been and will continue to be a solution. There are a lot of figures involved, 
for example, the base year market size is 175 billion, and the forecasted market size is 232.9 billion, with a growth rate of 5.3%, for the period between 2022 and 2027. The topic at hand is opportunity. Even though it's annoying to have to wait around, I think yeah, this does take time. This explosion is going to happen right now, and we're sitting on a landmine. The switch might be flipped at any moment, folks, and when we examine the current situation with settlement discussions, it could happen right now. Now things are starting to heat up. The video ends there. Do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye for now. 40.